A tiny wooden house by a quiet lake. A gentle spring evening with no more to-dos and plenty of time to slow down, relax and just listen to the peaceful sound of the birds and the water. If this sounds like the dream to you, you for sure are in the right place. Hi everyone, this is Liz. I live a slow life in the countryside. While I'm renovating my own cottage, I travel from place to place, staying in beautiful and unique locations. Today, we are moving into this beautiful tiny house by the lake, complete with a lake view sauna. Come on, let me show you around and we can spend the evening here together. Sleeping in this cozy bed, we're gonna wake up looking out onto the lake. What better way to start the day, am I right? I'm in love with this cozy tea and reading nook. We could even invite friends over or just curl up with a cup of tea here. What do you think? This kitchen just leaves me in awe about what we can fit into a tiny house like this. The kitchen has everything. Sink, storage room, fridge, stove, bar stools, Bluetooth speakers, everything we could want. I'm amazed how much care and thought went into furnishing this tiny house. There is so much to plan and consider to make the house feel cozy, yet not too overcrowded and to still provide everything we need. Now let me show you the bathroom. The shower uses a heat recovery system that saves up to 40% of the energy required to heat up the water. Big thumbs up. We even have a foldable laundry rack in here. Let's not head outside on an empty stomach. Let's have a bowl of lentil stew before I show you around the outside area.
Sitting by this window, looking out on the lake feels like such an antidote to our dopamine addicted brains. Eating mindfully, tasting the flavors of the food and simply watching the ducks circling the lake. It often feels as if our brain is constantly waiting for something spectacular to happen, when actually this is what the world we inhabit looks like. It feels good to sometimes get a little reminder of that. Okay, let's head outside. We have our own little bathing area here and our lakeview sauna, which we are so going to relax in later. Let me know if you would sleep out here in summer as well. We could just lie here and look at the stars with nothing around us but the quiet of the forest and the gentle sound of the water and the mosquitoes ruining everything. But it would still be lovely. It's time for a cup of tea in our cozy corner before we explore the lake and the forest a bit. This tiny house has an actual kettle that starts whistling. For the longest time I only knew these from movies and I'm always excited to use one. While having my cup of tea, I'm reading my brand new astronomy book, which has 100 tiny chapters. If you would also love to read more, but don't get around to it, I recommend setting aside a few minutes a day to read one chapter a day instead of none. Way too often, we pressure ourselves way too much with our own expectations, when so often something is better than nothing and a little bit is better than not at all. Okay, are you ready to explore the lake and forest with me? Spring has been very early this year. It seems almost as if this year has only consisted of spring so far. And slowly, almost unnoticed, the day has once again grown longer than the night. It's one of my favorite times of the year, when there is so much promise in the air. The brand new light green leaves, the smell of petals and the first warm rays of sunlight. 
when the best is yet to come and we can watch everything blossom and grow in front of our very eyes. No matter what we humans do, no matter our concerns, our worries, our fears, nature will always blossom again regardless. It's a very comforting thought. It always makes my worries seem so insignificant. During the past weeks I was lucky enough to have a bit more free time on my hands than usual. And I realized how difficult it can be to accept free time. My mind will constantly start wondering if I shouldn't be doing something else instead, if I shouldn't be somewhere else instead. Please let me know if this sounds familiar. The truth is that there is always something useful we could be doing instead of wandering the woods or the lake shore. And I am a fan of productivity and making good use of our time. But being able to accept and appreciate a set amount of time for ourselves is a skill that is worth honing. Time to let our thoughts wander, time to take in our surroundings and appreciate all the beauty that nature spoils us with. Let's not fall into the trap of thinking that time that isn't spent producing or achieving something is wasted. Investing time into our own physical and mental well-being is one of the best investments we can make. We are being productive most of the day. Let's make this promise to ourselves that, from now on, we'll accept me time without constantly questioning and doubting ourselves. Okay, the sun starts setting and sunset is sauna time. This sauna is just heaven. We can sit here and look out across the lake while the pleasant warmth seeps into every cell of our body. This is your reminder to take good care of your body and your mind. To take it a bit slower and to allow yourself time to relax and wind down. You are working enough. You are achieving enough. You are enough. Would you move into this tiny house by the lake? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments.